Hi, this is Brett from Cupid.Asia. And I wanted to talk to women in particular about how they're going to do their profile. You've only got one chance at a first impression. So that first photograph that men see has to be unbelievable. You want them to at least have a look at uh, what you've got in your profile, other pictures, talk about you, but you're not getting anyone to look at your profile unless your first photograph is sensational. So I'm going to show you today how to make that photograph sensational. And you've got to do a little bit of work just to look better than everyone else, because while you might say, well, I do get dates, are they the best quality? Is there a better man there for you? Are they passing you by? Let's have a look at this. So we've got a study here that's been done over thousands and thousands of viewers, and that's about what appeals to men. Now, in case you're not aware, men fall in love differently to women. Men fall in love with their eyes. So whatever they see is them falling in love. Women fall in love with emotions and feelings and that kind of thing. It doesn't work with men. That might come later, but for the moment, you've got to make a great first impression. So let me share my screen here with you and we'll have a look at, uh, at some of our best options to find a man. So here we are, the perfect picture for your Cupid profile. So this is a photograph. She's smiling with teeth, looking away from the camera, and the background is blurred. Um, it shows, it just shows a, a beautiful, happy woman. Now, this isn't happening with most of the uh, dating sites that you've seen. Have a look at your own profile. Does it look something like this? If the answer is no, we better do something about it. And I'll send you a copy of this so that you can read it for yourself. Uh, I've just got a note in here about men too. They, they don't consider their profiles much. They, they think they're a, a, a red Mustang, which looks like this. But in fact, the red Mustang should be looking like this. Now, here is possibly one of the most stunning women on the planet, Lucy Liu. This is Lucy walking down the street. And you really wouldn't look twice at Lucy, but have a look at her, her profile picture. Absolutely beautiful. Now, there is one thing, though. She isn't smiling with teeth. But then fashion uh, editors and, and magazines, they don't want teeth. They want this serious look. In our case, with a dating app, you want to smile and you want to see teeth. And see, she hasn't got a a background that's dominating. And uh, this would be a great photograph if you can pull this one off. Now, here's some interesting information. The number one thing you need to have on your dating profile is a photograph of you participating in sport. Now, this says 75% more likely, but let me have a look further down the page, you'll see here, if a woman has a photograph of her participating in sport, she's 166% more likely to get a like. So that's a must. You've got to do that. We're looking at uh, enjoying a night out. Well, that's just a photograph with the girls out eating preferably not with, with men, and then they're likely to confuse uh, you as, as uh, going out with your ex. So a day, night out with the girls and showing your smile is really most important. Now, the things not to do, wearing sunglasses, definitely not. In fact, even wearing glasses 
you know, take a photograph like this. That looks better than this. You can put your, your glasses on in your following photographs. Cover photograph, take your glasses off. Take your habaya off. Take your hat off. Take your mask off. The amount of women that have a mask on during their photo shoot. That's just uh, not going to work. And don't use filters. As soon as you catch sign of someone using a filter, the first response I mean is, well, they're not pretty enough to have a photograph without filters, so they're going to pass you by. No filters and no posing with your significant other, as in no posing with a with a with uh, any man. Might be your brother, could be confused for your significant other, so none of that. And don't take a, a photograph that you've had with them and crop them out. That isn't going to work either. You need brand new photos to get the best result. So this is another good one. Use one of your photos as a black and white. Don't do what this girl's done and use her sunglasses, but a black and white photo is a really good option. And this is terrific. This is so important, a candid shot. This shows that you're funny, that you're human, that you're not just there fishing for a man or hoping like hell something happens. This shows that you're actually got personality. Now, these are the do nots. Do not take a selfie. You know, a selfie, you get it all wrong. You've got your shoulder forward. That actually takes a photograph of your forehead, so it makes your head look bigger. You don't want selfies. There are very few people that know how to do it properly. So get a tripod, set a timer, take a photograph, or get a friend to help you take a photograph. So no photos in the bathroom, no photos looking into a mirror, no photos in the mirror at the gym. Really got to avoid them. So this is the analysis of the photo we looked at first. So wearing your hair up is 27% more likely. Please yourself about that. I prefer Lucy Lou with her hair down. But the big differences are looking away from, from the camera, and smiling with teeth and standing alone. And what they haven't noted here is blur your background or cut the background out altogether. We don't want you standing in front of a bazaar with lots going on in the background and we lose you in the photograph. We want you to stand out in the photograph. So... We'll, as I said, we'll send this through to you so you can have a look at it. Just to give you a heads up, we'll be sharing this with men where they, conversely, they should be looking at the camera, smiling without teeth, um, looking straight ahead. So that's quite a bit different to what women should be doing, but this is a study of thousands of people. So they should know. I'm not. Uh, the expert, but let's call these people the expert. So let's have a look at a dating app that can uh, give you some idea of your competition because you have to look better than the other girls. So uh, this is just a random one we're looking at. She, the, the photograph's way too dark. She's not smiling. The, the photograph's just awful. So there's no competition. Oh, now that's that's quite interesting. She's that's probably better than most. Her photograph has got too much going on in the background, and we kind of lose the shape of her body in the black dress against the black piano. But good effort, just not quite right. And this girl wearing a hat, doing a selfie, ordinary background which probably could have been blurred, but um, not smiling with teeth, but not a bad effort. This one, what a disaster. Who's the girl? Well, we pick one. This is just not on. Don't dare do this. 
And again, we've got someone that looks quite sad. We've got to find some, you've got to get some teeth and have, have a smile. What's this? Is, is a man going to click on this? Certainly not. I'm not. Oh, this looks like an accident. I accidentally took a photograph, so I'll put it up and call it my profile. And just same thing again. Uh, she's, she's taken it from the wrong angle, so it makes her forehead look big. She's not happy, not smiling. So there you go. There's a, a good example, and that was random. I didn't look at those beforehand, and that's what happens every time I look at, at videos with, sorry, with uh, um, images on dating sites. They're all wrong, all of them. So, well, except the girl on the piano, that's a, that's a pass, maybe. So get it right. Spend some time. If you want a quality man, start with some quality photos. Don't complain if you're not getting great uh, dates when you have got ordinary photos. And remember, men fall in love with their eyes. So make it worth their while to look a bit further and see what a wonderful person you are. There are my tips. Please work on them. If you want to submit uh, your, your images to our office and get our opinion, more than happy to do that for you. Okay, good luck.